And if you want to try new things, if you have like a skylight that you like and you're like, you know what, I want to try something different. Instead of going through here and messing with your presets, uh, just hit control D. You can take this sky and you can have that one turned off and then the sky copy, you can go through here and let's like, let's try another preset. Let's try the museum preset and see if that gives us uh, an interesting look. And that actually kind of works pretty well with that that uh, herringbone tile. I like that a lot. Uh, and also, if you don't want to see that plane, you can just temporarily turn that off and you can go through here and now you can mess around with the skylight copy. You can change that brightness and see if that does anything for you. Now, when we're ready to go ahead and capture this image, as simple as uh, going up here to capture image like we've done before, uh, going down here to the settings and you can go through and uh, make any changes. Uh, the sampling here is going to be what's going to help your any sort of graininess in your GI or anything like that. You can also do a turntable animation. Those are pretty easy. So I'm going to go ahead and select my skull here. We're going to go to Scene, Add Object, Turntable. And it's going to add a turntable to my object. So now when I go in here to the timeline, it'll go through and just do a turntable for me. How easy is that? So now again, like we were talking about earlier, we can go in here to Capture a single image, or you can capture a video. You can capture an image to the clipboard. You can go straight to ArtStation with it. A lot of different options in here. So anyway, have fun with this. A lot of cool stuff you can do in here to kind of get a nice portfolio render or just have a little bit of fun with some look dev. Oh, and just one more thing. While you're working, go in here to File, Save Scene As, and you can save this. Let's go ahead and throw this into our Marmoset folder as Infinitor Look Dev. That'll go ahead and save all your settings so you don't, you don't lose anything that you've been working so hard on.